Hey, what's up everybody on the YouTube world? It's Craig from Flying Wheels. You guys know the game. What am I driving today? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Leave your comments below. 10 points to the winner. Eventually someone's going to win a prize. Keep count of your score. All right, so today was at the auction. I did some gambling. I don't always gamble, even though it might look like that on my YouTube channel. Typically, my purchases are very calculated. I know what I'm buying, but no one wants to see the Ford Focuses and the F-150s. You want to see the fun stuff. You want to see the gambling. You want to see if I'm going to win or lose, and that's what today's about. First of all, my page is all about cars. If you're into car stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get more videos. Make sure you hit the like button so you do me a solid and other people get to see these videos as well. Let's get started. Today, I was at the auction. I bought a car. You ready to know what it is? An Audi S4. I bought it sight unseen. But kind of, for the most part. I had like 10 seconds, 20 seconds to really look at it because it was running through the auction. I normally wouldn't do such a thing. Here's the whole story. I'm going to tell you why. YouTube world, it's Craig and Papa Al over here at the Go auction on. again. Good morning. All right, today I bought an Audi. By accident, not by accident, I gambled. Every once in a while, I gamble on cars. Not always. This one I did. I went on a limb. I do love Audis. I bought an S4. I don't know anything about it. I bought it pretty much sight unseen. I had about 30 seconds to look at it, which at the auction is about normal. Um, if I get to see it out here in the lot somewhere, I have more time to check it out and drive it. If it's up in the lane up there, I get about 30 seconds to really walk around it and give a quick overview of the car. I would never have bought an Audi S4 at auction without looking at the car. However, I know the seller, so I went on a limb and trusted the guy. He says he drove 180 miles to get here at the auction. There was no check engine lights. That's all I know about the car. I bought it, has 140,000 miles, six speed transmission. There it is, you can see it back there. I'll tell you what I paid for it after, but I wanna know what you guys think it's worth first. So let's go check it out. So here we are, it's an 06 Audi S4, 146,000 miles. It does have an aftermarket exhaust with, I don't know, oh, that's part of the exhaust. Corsa RSC exhaust. It's filthy, but it's all cleanup filthy. Looking at the brake rotor, like that one has absolutely no action on it. But the body's straight, little rust here and exactly in the same spot on the other side, but it's not rotted. Good tires on it, no road debris on the hood or front bumper. Same spot of rust there. These cars are a ton of fun. And it sounds damn good with that exhaust. Now again, I don't know anything about this car besides that it, it was running and driving through the auction. It sold red light just because it has over 100,000 miles and it's over 10 years, which is almost, which is every car at the auction. If it has over 100,000 miles or over 10 years old, it's sold red light automatically, which means as is, which means I assume everything for it. It was pretty clean when I got to look through the window. Now I can't open the hood. I couldn't open the door when I was looking at it in the lane. I did see that there were no check engine lights. I love Audi Recaro seats. I love these cars, if you get the right one. But even if you notice, like all the buttons aren't worn. These are kind of have a rubber coating, which are always worn off. There's not a single button that's worn, even on the door. If you've ever owned an Audi, you know that these things all kind of just rub off and then everything's white and you never know what button's what. Oh, look at that. You can dim the daytime ring lights. You can adjust the headlights. Even the credit card holder is still in place. So again, I wouldn't normally gamble on an Audi. I would gamble on a Toyota or a Honda or even a pickup truck, but never an Audi. There's just too much, too many variables that can go wrong. All right, let's see if it starts. Question, will it start, Pop? Sure thing. Sure thing. I love your positivity. It started. 4.2 liter V8 has a good rumble. Oh, no emergency brake. Oh, it didn't have a check engine light on when it went through. But now, look at that. Bright big check engine light. Doesn't feel like it has a misfire, which is a good thing. That's pretty common in these. So that check engine light I'm hoping is just that Volkswagen Audi. Every car has a check engine light type of thing. The other thing I'm noticing is there is no power steering in this car. So I got this thing cheap. Does the radio work? Radio works. Well, we'll take it back to the shop and find out. We have absolutely no emergency brake. Check engine light on. 
Sounds good though. All the functions are working. Do all the windows work? Yeah. Did yours work? It's the motor. Oh, the motor's work. working, but the window's not working. Everything but the passenger window. Sunroof? Sunroof works. I wonder what that check engine light's on for. It wasn't on when it went through the lane. I wouldn't have bought it if the engine light was on, just knowing these cars. Well, we are in the S4 driving, and I have to say it is an absolute blast to drive around. That aftermarket exhaust sounds amazing. I hope you can hear it the way I hear it. I'm gonna hit it a little bit. Oh my goodness, it just, it sounds incredible. It's a put a smile on your face sound. It's unbelievable. So this car is a ton of fun. I'm taking it back to the shop. Obviously we checked the fluids and tire pressure and everything, but we haven't checked the check engine light. So I don't know what this is on for. It might not even have catalytic converters. If it does, it won't pass inspection, which means I have to put two catalytic converters on. That's the least of my troubles though that could potentially happen with a check engine light on in a car like this. It's running great though. Typically these can uh, have coolant in the oil, which is, can lead to like, you know, that's an indicator of a head gasket issue. Could have a misfire, which is a, you know, it could be as easy as a plug and coil or a dead cylinder. You never know, which is why I don't usually buy these things with. That's <laughs> why I don't usually buy these things with a check engine light on. Um, I don't know. We'll get it back to the shop and, and figure out what's going on with it. But so far, I am pleased with it. And the reason I bought it, I'll tell you why. Uh, like I said, I don't always gamble, but a lot of my videos, you'll see me gambling. Sometimes I'll just see a car that I didn't see out in the outside in the auction parking lot that I see running through the lane. So I'll run right up to it. I'll check it out quickly, and then it goes through, and, and you don't really know what you're buying. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. You don't really know what you're buying, but it's worth the risk sometimes based on the price. You know, if the car turns out to be something I don't want, I can always run it back through the auction if it's at the right price. If I think I can sell it back at the auction for the price I paid, then it's a it's a no-lose situation. I can take it back. I can gamble, buy it, take it back to my shop, check it out, and if I don't like it, I just run it back through the auction and get my money back. This one was so cheap, though. I kind of want to tell you, but I also don't want to tell you. Take a guess. Let me know what you guys think this thing was worth at the auction. Unexpected red light. What would you have paid? Maybe I'll tell you at the end of this video. I'm not really sure. Give me an overview of this car. So it's a 3,800 pound car that typically comes with a two liter turbo four cylinder engine. So a tiny little engine that still puts enough boost and power in this car to make it fun. Well, they took that engine out and swapped in a 4.2 liter 340 horse V8. Monster V8 in this light little car, which makes it so much fun and it's still fast and nimble and light. So I'm really enjoying this thing. It's a good time so far. You may notice that all my windows are down and the reason being is because there's a super dark window tint and in New Hampshire we can't have any window tint on the front windows at all. No window tint allowed on the front windows. So unfortunately, regrettably, sadly, however you want to say it, anytime I buy a car with window tint like that, I have to take it off. So somebody spent a lot of time to put that window tint on, they paid good money for it, it looks amazing, I have to be the bad guy that tears it off. I can't sell it, I can't even list it for sale in this state with window tint. Ironically, I can sell it with no catalytic converter, unsafe, needing brakes, needing tires, but I can't list it for sale on my lot with window tint. So I have to pull it off. Or you get in serious trouble. They take that really, really seriously. So every car I buy with window tint in the front windows has to come off. We're out on the open road, second gear. Shifts so smoothly. It's such a fun car to drive. And I can fit my kids in it. You know, I'm just thinking out loud here, 340 horsepower is nothing to just uh, laugh about. That's a decent amount of power in such a light car. If you figure the LS1 uh, Corvettes and Camaros, those came from the factory with like 315 horsepower and a 5.7 liter V8. Here we are in a 4.2 liter V8 putting out 340 horse. That sounds like that in an import. I'm loving it right now. All right, let's check Ooh, four codes, 0056, 0036. All right, so two codes. Just pull the codes on that. Best case scenario, oxygen sensor. So lucky. So today I gambled on that car. I think I won. We haven't done a full state inspection on it. We obviously will do that. We'll have it detailed. I 
am going to make thousands and thousands of dollars on that car and have a great time with it. So today was a win. I'm glad I went to the auction today. I was debating on not going. I went. I scored on a gamble. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I think today I won. All right, so everybody, if you're watching this video and you liked it, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up so other people get to see this video. Also, make sure you're subscribing if you're not already. And if you are, thank you very much. I'll see y'all later. Adios, everybody. Oh, hey, I forgot. I also ended up with this monster Dodge Ram lifted. It's awesome. So I got that too. <laughs>